Mr. Rivanka, nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask you to enlighten us about your company. Okay. Um, uh, MV uh, has been in this business in solar since 1992, and uh, we are in both uh, solar photovoltaics and uh, solar thermal. We uh, produce very high quality solar photovoltaic modules and water heating systems and today we are standing as number one in water heater and uh, doing fairly well in photovoltaics. Uh, we are uh, PV module manufacturers, we are the system integrators for uh, off-grid and on-grid uh, rooftop systems as well as we are uh, megawatt capacity EPC uh, players. So what are the projects uh, currently you are undertaking? Oh, pro uh, if, you, uh, if you ask this question, I will uh, uh, indicate uh, uh, we have done a uh, 15 megawatt uh, grid connected power plant last year in uh, Hindupur that has been running uh, extremely well. Uh, we have done uh, a project in uh, Germany, a 12 megawatt power plant that has been running well. We have done a 1 megawatt uh, rooftop system for uh, uh, Cochin International Airport that has been commissioned and running well. We have done a 2 megawatt in uh, Hyderabad uh, about 2-3 months back uh, for a, an industry called MLR that has been running well. And uh, there are a lot of uh, rooftop systems uh, which have been uh, supplied, installed and commissioned have been running very well uh, for the last uh, many years. So sir, what challenges do you face uh, while uh, doing these big projects uh, in terms of finance? Uh, as such, uh, you know, in India the cost of fund is uh, very, very high. You know, it is uh, anywhere around 13.5 to 14 percent and if you have a good project and a good uh, implementation period and uh, fairly uh, good uh, competitive rate then uh, financing is a possibility and today whatever the projects we are doing uh, we are taking uh, funding from Gereda and uh, that's uh, available at uh, 13.5 percent. Um, uh, if the project is good, uh, then banks are coming forward. But uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's difficult to get uh, funding from banks. The thoughts on uh, RPO info enforcement? Uh, if you look at uh, when uh, this JNNSM was announced, uh, it was. Uh, uh, it has given a target, you know, that uh, how much uh, the total capacity have to be achieved. And uh, in addition to whatever government is uh, encouraging to do, then they have brought in two, three uh, other uh, alternatives uh, to uh, ensure that this will keep moving uh, forward. So RPO was one and then uh, REC was the another mechanism with which uh, it has been uh, thought, but if you see uh, all state government uh, projects, uh, whatever is uh, being implemented, uh, let's say Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, uh, Punjab, uh, Haryana, Rajasthan, all these state state government projects are done only to meet the obligations of the state uh, power generating uh, companies. So uh, it is uh, essential. And uh, now what uh, my suggestion is that uh, the independent uh, power producers also have to be uh, enforced to uh, go for RPO. And uh, then I think the projects, more and more projects will come. So how will you differentiate uh, REC from RPO? Uh, uh, what are the major uh, po points where uh, REC fails to address or addresses, uh, I mean people are reluctant in taking REC. Yeah, uh, it is like this, you know, if the RPO is uh, enforced properly, 
uh, then uh, REC uh, REC is only to facilitate uh, some of the uh, large consumers of power as well as the power producers if they have no possibility of implementing their own uh, solar power plant to meet the RPO obligations that alternatively they can buy the REC's and then set off so that requirement that um, that uh, obligations can be met by buying the REC's so today the state governments are taking action to meet their RPO obligations whereas the private uh, producers, private uh, uh, large uh, power uh, consuming uh, companies, uh, they have not been pushed to uh, go for uh, RPO, meeting the RPO obligations because it is not being enforced uh, that REC's are not being sold enough. As far as NV is, MV is concerned, uh, yeah, do you believe more, uh, I think you have a push towards PPO arrangements? Uh, yeah, actually uh, uh, whatever the projects uh, we have done and uh, some are owned by us, uh, we are having a third party uh, PPA for a longer duration for the sale of electricity. And uh, we have done so far uh, projects in Andhra Pradesh and uh, most of the, the incentives, whatever uh, they have announced, uh, it makes more feasible. So that's why we have gone ahead in Andhra Pradesh and doing the projects. So that is more viable? Yeah, it's more viable. Okay. Actually, uh, we have done projects for REC only. Okay. Uh, but then REC implementation is taking so much of time. Then we are taking REC as an additional bonus and then we are trying to see that uh, with the EPA rates itself, if the projects can be feasible, then uh, it is uh, really good to go with that. Great. Uh, with uh, now, with uh, fuel prices coming uh, going up, uh, how do you see the state of solar going? Uh, actually, if you see, uh, um, even though uh, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has uh, uh, providing subsidy, uh, for last uh, six to eight months, uh, no projects are being uh, sanctioned by MNRE. Uh, but still, uh, there are so many industries who are having a power problem and then uh, Many a times they will be using the, the diesel generator to supplement their requirement. So they are uh, slowly going in for solar because uh, solar uh, rooftop system, uh, if they have implemented uh, as compared to diesel, it becomes uh, really viable and then uh, that trend is picking up and then I think it will go a long way. How do you see rooftop uh, people, uh, implementers, uh, those who are implementing rooftops, pumping uh, into the grid, power yeah. into the grid? Uh, I think uh, presently uh, this, uh, this system uh, is not really picking up just for a reason that uh, many of the state uh, uh, governments are thinking or the state uh, generating companies or distribution companies are thinking that uh, it is not going to work out. But if uh, very clearly uh, each state can implement that net metering facility, I think uh, there are a lot of uh, possibilities of uh, uh, roofs generating electricity on their uh, requirement as well as feeding something into the grid whereby uh, the deficit can be shortened or lessened. What are the challenges you think you are facing in the rooftop market right now? Uh, it is, uh, the challenge is uh, uh, because there is a confusion in the minds of uh, customers that uh, uh, since uh, ministry has announced that 30% subsidy is there, and uh, in real terms, uh, no projects are being uh, sanctioned and the subsidy is not being uh, made available for 
it is varying between anywhere between 12 to 18 months to get the subsidy. So uh, the integrators are finding it difficult to go with that scheme. But the customers are still thinking that the subsidy will be available and they are looking forward for uh, after the subsidy whatever the amount they want to buy the system at that price and uh, integrators are finding it difficult to sell it at that price without having subsidy available. So this confusion can be removed by the ministry saying that okay either they have to tell that they will give the subsidy or they will, there will not be any subsidy. So if they, if ministry can make their points very clear, then uh, I think uh, there will be a clarity that will come into the minds of the customers and a uh, lot of customers are ready to buy. The See, uh, uh, Mr. Vankar, actually no ministry will, no government for that matter, uh, whether this government or the subsequent one or what, whatever government is in the center, will not like to uh, demoralize uh, by saying that uh, subsidy is not going to be given. So only way out is that we, we believe that we should try to educate uh, uh, the cu customer that subsidy is not the easy way out. Yeah. Uh, actually what is happening is that for uh, the year 2013-14, that means we have elapsed uh, almost about uh, nine months in this financial year, there is not even a single uh, project that has been uh, sanctioned by MNRE. Yeah? But still we have done many projects without subsidy. That means customers are, we are definitely educating them, but there are some customers we, they will accept, some are not accepting, they are waiting. So there is always a lot of list of customers who are waiting to see whether what is really going to happen. If a ministry can clearly say that, okay, if that is subsidy is going to be that, then they have to declare and then take action towards that. What they are declaring and what the actions that are happening, if there is a large difference, then this confusion will remain. Your advice to government regulators and nodal agencies, sir? I think uh, there should be always a clarity in uh, whatever the policies they are making. Then clear guidelines for implementing these uh, policies is required. And the third one is that enforce quick implementation of the policies. And uh, take feedback from the, uh, the customers as well as the, uh, the project developers. And then see how to make it more and more uh, easy way of doing it. Easy means, I am not telling that, okay, easy way of getting it, but when somebody can follow the policies and guidelines very clearly, the implementation can be uh, quickly done and then enforce that implementation also happens quickly. Finally, tell us something about the future plans of MB. Uh, actually, uh, uh, we are changing slowly from the only module manufacturer to module manufacturer come system integrator. We are slowly moving towards that actually. And uh, present capacity of 135 megawatt, uh, we want to first ensure that we fully load the manufacturing plant. And once we are able to reach that, then we would like to go for en enhancing the production capacity. But then we are definitely going in more and more uh, project development. EPC for large capacity power plants and uh, innovative rooftop systems we would like to do. Yeah, so we want to grow that way. Mm -hmm. So you uh, you are all hopeful for the future? For yeah, MV, surely it is, definitely, it is definitely going to be because um, uh, even, uh, even uh, the prices have quite uh, come down but uh, today's, if you see today's trend, the sales prices are increasing uh, but still if you look at my customer always he looks at a price uh, lower than yesterday's price so this it is becoming more and more uh, tough for us to compete uh, 
but it also uh, leads us to some innovation in the entire uh, systems and then bring in uh, innovation as well as uh, the best, uh, the quicker way of doing it and then uh, most reliable uh, systems you bring in whereby more confidence can be gained uh, by the customer by using the photovoltaic systems. That's what we are trying to do. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Vivanka, you. for your you for sharing the views with us. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, yeah, this is uh, what is uh, my view on this entire photovoltaic. Thank you. Thank you very much.